Hi, welcome to my channel Cloud with Girish. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate AWS cost and usage report using Event Bridge Scheduler, Lambda, and AWS Cost Explorer API. I will create the cost and usage report using Lambda function, will share it via email to the verified email addresses, will post it to a S3 bucket for record keeping or further processing by other services and will schedule this via event bridge scheduler. In the realm of cloud computing, resource provisioning is effortlessly streamlined, offering invaluable agility to businesses for a variety of use cases. This includes accelerating solution delivery, enhancing agility in infrastructure, computing and scalable storage, as well as facilitating backup integration and more. Nevertheless, this convenience comes at a cost. Each initiated resource contributes to the overall expense of cloud usage. Therefore, it is imperative to regularly scrutinize both cost and resource utilization, optimizing them in accordance with the specific need of the business. Let's um, look at our business use case, uh, we need to generate a monthly cost and usage report by AWS service, email this generated report to assigned email address, post the generated report in JSON format to S3 bucket, and then schedule this report using event bridge scheduler. I am generating the lam my Lambda function using AWS SAM However, similar can be created using AWS console. I like to use AWS SAM whenever possible as it provides me the flexibility to test the function without first deploying to AWS cloud. If you want to learn about creating and testing Lambda function, please watch my video on Lambda workshop. Link is in the description for that. Let's look at our architecture design. We have event bridge scheduler. Event bridge scheduler is uh, configured to invoke the Lambda function on a monthly basis. Uh, Lambda function is invoking the cost and usage report API via the cost helper function, which is uh, creating the cost and usage report and, and, and associated data. This is getting email and then getting uploaded to uh, S3 bucket. The data is uh, created in a JSON format and then uh, um, there is an email address, there is an S3 bucket, there is CloudWatch log and all these different uh, services are being uh, used. Uh, and at the end, an email is going out to the assigned email address. The prereq for this workshop is simply the basic understanding of AWS services like Lambda, SES, S3, Event Bridge. Familiarity with coding programming language. I will use Python Boto 3. Um, familiarity to develop and deploy Lambda function locally using AWS SAM. I'll be using AWS SAM for Lambda function. However, same can be accomplished using AWS console. Let's get started. We're going to review the AWS billing and cost management via AWS console. We'll see the cost and usage report. We're going to download it as CSV. There is a review of S3 bucket. Uh, it's simply a bucket with no file in it. We'll review the AWS SAM template and the Lambda function. Then I will build the function using AWS SAM. I'm going to test the function locally using AWS SAM and then I will deploy the function to AWS cloud. Once the Lambda function is deployed, I'm going to create the event bridge scheduler and define my job in a cron job pattern. And then I will uh, assign the Lambda function to this job. Once the job uh, invoke the Lambda function, um, a file will be created and we will review the S3 bucket with JSON file in it, which include our uh, cost and usage data. And then same uh, data will be emailed to the assigned email address. Of course, uh, CloudWatch log will have entry based on all the uh, log statement in our Lambda function. Uh, 
so here is uh, aws billing and cost management uh, screen, uh, screen looks uh, we can access it via aws console as you can see uh, it provides uh, a bird's eye view of like cost summary and it you can drill it down to like a specific service that um, for a specific period there are different charts view which can be uh, looked at and eventually uh, all of this data can be downloaded as csv uh, this is all through the aws console we're not going to use it since we have an automated solution using the lambda function and the api so we're gonna uh, have it um, create our own data and post it and email let's look at the s3 bucket this is the S3 bucket. I'm using an existing bucket. You can use any bucket and configure the name of the bucket in your SAM template or Lambda code. Currently, uh, this bucket does not have any cost report file, but once the file is generated, we will see that file had been posted to this S3 bucket. Let's review our SAM template. It's a pretty standard uh, SAM template. Uh, I have a function uh, named as GB service monthly cost and uh, uh, the runtime is Python 3, uh, 3.12. I have a timeout of uh, 15 seconds. I have a default uh, uh, memory size. And then uh, I have a few environment variable uh, which have the S3 bucket and the file name uh, assigned uh, and also uh, the account ID. Let's look at our Lambda function. This is the function. We got a standard Lambda handler. This Lambda handler is getting the environment variable value, and then it's invoking a function called log monthly service cost. This is the function uh, that I'm using uh, to, to get the cost and usage report. And then there is another function I have, which is email formatted service and cost. And this is the function that's basically helping me to invoke the email service. Um, there is also another function to get the file uploaded to S3 bucket. I will build the function locally using AWS SAM. Command is simply a uh, SAM build. And once my function has been successfully built, I can invoke the function using SAM local invoke command by passing my uh, function name. And then once I see the output and validate the output, I can then deploy it using SAM deploy command to AWS cloud. Once my function is deployed, I, I will create an event bridge scheduler. Uh, I'm calling the scheduler uh, as a generate GB monthly AWS cost report. And then uh, I'm defining the cron job pattern, which is basically getting the uh, report sent out uh, first day of the month. In the next screen, uh, I can assign a Lambda function. So as you can see that there is a Lambda function in the drop down GB service monthly cost, and I am linking it to the scheduler. Now, once it has been linked, simply wait for a scheduler to invoke the Lambda. Once uh, Lambda function has been uh, invoked uh, via the scheduler, if I go back to my S3 bucket, uh, I will see that there is a file that has been created there with the name gbcostreport.json. And this is the file that contain all my uh, usage and, and cost uh, data. The same uh, report also had been emailed because that's the second use case uh, for my, my scenario where I'm loading the data to S3 bucket, but I'm also emailing it to the assigned email address. So this is an example that I'm getting an email and uh, it has my total cost, uh, total monthly cost, um, and it's uh, giving me a breakdown by the services that I'm, I'm consuming. Um, So with this workshop, uh, an event bridge scheduler invoking a Lambda function to email AWS cost and usage report to assign email address has been completed. This Lambda function has also posted the report in the JSON format to S3 bucket. 
a schedule has been created using event bridge which will invoke this lambda function on a monthly schedule a monthly notification of summarized cost by service meets the need of our business use case and provides an automated way to generate and receive these reports hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm working on some other interesting content on various aws topics these will be posted soon Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.